we're going to look at three problems dealing with parabolas. This first problem I've written down, they've given us information about a parabola and they want to know what the equation of the parabola is and what the points are for the latest rectum and then to graph the parabola. So on the form of the sheet, we have these equations for what's called these conic sections. We have two equations for a parabola, two equations for ellipses, two equations for hyperbolas, and then down here at the bottom, <clears throat> we have these equations for ellipses and hyperbolas that help us find the foci. So this is what we're going to be referring to. So with all these problems, whether you're asked to or not, you need to go ahead and create your graph. So I'm going to start my graph over here and write down the information we've been given. So the focus is at minus 3, 6. So 1, 2, There's the focus, and of course the focus is what's inside the parabola. And then we're told the directrix is the line y equals 4. y equals 4 is right here. So if I can sketch in a horizontal line. Now we know that a parabola, the vertex of the parabola is halfway between the focus and the directrix. So if the focus is here with y equals 6, the director is y equals 4. We actually know the vertex is therefore going to be minus 3, 5, which in a minute is going to give us our h and k. So now it's pretty obvious that this is going to be a parabola that opens up. Since it's a parabola that opens up, you can go to your formula sheet. Now you have to know there's two equations, and you have to know that the parabola that opens up, this is the standard equation. The x ends up being squared. So really, to find the equation of a parabola, all we need to know is the vertex and the value of p. Well, we know the vertex, minus 3 and 5. We can plug in minus 3 for h and 5 for k. So I'm going to subtract a negative 3. That's going to be x plus 3 squared. Now P is the distance from the vertex to the focus and the distance from the focus to the directrix. Those are the same and that's a distance P. It's pretty easy to see here. P is going to be 1. So then Y minus K and K is 5. Now we have to check and make sure since this problem opens up we have to make sure the 4 is positive, and it is. Now, the way we try and sketch the graph of this parabola is by using what I call the spread. The official term is like the latest rectum. The latest rectum, in this case, from the vertex, you move 2p to the right, and 2p to the left from the focus. So for us, we're going to move 2. So I go to the focus, I move 2 to the right, and that's one point of your latest rectum, and 2 to the left, and that's another point. So the actual latest rectum points would be, so this is going to be minus 5, minus 5, 6, and then this one, minus 1, 6. 
So those are the two points of the latest rectum. I just want to check to make sure. And that is correct. So now we can try and make a sketch. of the parabola. So there's the equation. Here's the points of the latest rectum and then up here's the graph. Now the next problem They actually give us the equation of the parabola. Y plus four quantity squared equals 12 times X plus one. And they wanna know the vertex, the focus, the directrix, and then sketch the graph. So this is pretty straightforward. We're just gonna compare this with the standard equation. So the standard equation would be Y minus K squared equals 12 x minus h and this equation is for the right or left parabola in this case since sorry in this case since this coefficient is positive we know it's going to open to the right so like the positive x direction So now, the vertex is HK, so here's what I do. When I go get my H, I've said before, I grab the number plus the sign in front of it. So I'm thinking plus one, because when you come stick in your vertex, it actually is the opposite sign. So plus one becomes minus one. For K, I'm looking plus four, but it's actually going to end up being minus four. So there's your vertex. We need to find P. Well, I know four P has to equal 12. Pretty easy to solve for P, right? Looks like P is three. So that's gonna be the distance from the vertex to the focus and from the vertex to the directrix. And because we're gonna use it eventually, what I call the spread, two P, two times three is gonna be six. All right, so really, I've got what I need to make a rough sketch of this graph and then we'll fill in well, we can fill in the vertex already. Let's go and graph it, then we can fill in the rest of that information. So the vertex, negative one, negative four, negative one, now we know it's gonna to go to the right, it's gonna look like this. So the focus is going to be to the right, and I'm going to move a distance three. So therefore, the focus is going to be at two, negative four. Now the directrix, I'm going to move three to the left. If I'm sitting here minus one, I'm gonna to go to minus four. So this vertical line is X equals negative four. So that's my directrix. So now to sketch the graph, let me go to my spread at six. So from the focus, I'm gonna move up six and down six. So this is four, five, six.
And now I can make a rough sketch of this parabola. All right, one more parabola problem. Now this is the one where you're actually given the graph and then we're asked some questions. So let me put it up here and try and zoom in on this so you can see it. Basically they want the equation of this parabola. So the question is pretty easy. So it looks like, obviously, it's a parabola opens to the left. Looks like they point out the vertex is 0, 4, and then they give us just a point, a random point on the parabola. And they want the equation. So let me zoom out a little bit so I can do some writing. So let's go ahead and get the standard equation for a parabola that opens to the right. In that case, it's going to be so I know the vertex, which gives me h and k. So the vertex is zero, four. So zero is h, k is four. Whoops. I don't know P, since H is zero. So now we have Y minus four quantity squared equals four PX. If I find the value of P, then I've got the equation. Well, they haven't really given me anything that I can look at this graph to get P, but since they've given me a point on the graph, what I can do is I can take my equation, I can plug in negative one for X and five for Y, when I do that, then I can solve for P, and then once I know P, then I'll have the equation. So if I plug in five for Y, five minus four quantity squared equals four P times X, X is negative one. So this is here, one squared equals negative four P. So one equals negative four P Looks like P equals negative one fourth. So I plug that back in here. If I write over here now, so my final equation of this parabola, four times negative one fourth is negative one. Or I should just be able to put negative X. So this should be the equation of that parabola. All right, so the next video we'll look at some problems with ellipses.